Hi everyone, good morning. Uh, it's good to see all of you. I absolutely love this time of year here in Iowa because there is so much going on in our own backyards as far as all of the wonderful things that are in season that we can be foraging for to use in our kitchens uh, as well as the abundance of just natural materials that we can be gathering up to also use in some of our creative efforts which is what I want to focus on here this morning and about a week or so ago I shared with you how to take that beautiful pampas grass that grows around here here and take the blades off of it and weave it together into these really nice mats and things. And I had mentioned to uh, save back the reeds or the stalks from those grasses because these two have some uh, really interesting uses, which is what we're going to share this morning. I like to refer to these as the Midwest bamboo because when these dry back, that's exactly what they resemble. Um, they're just, it looks like bamboo on a smaller scale. And it's this really nice, hard, um, material that you can work with. So you can save a lot of these back, use them in all kinds of ways. They're also, they make great stakes in the gardens. They also make beautiful handles for your own art tools, your own paint brushes, your own mark makers and drawing tools. And what you want to do, um, when I use these for the handles on my brushes, I like to uh, work with this when it's nice and dry. So if you cut them back while they're green, um, let them dry out and then you can turn them into your handles. You could harvest them later in the year when they naturally are dried out. If you're gonna cut them back when they are dry, you probably don't wanna use your pruners because that tends to crush the reed. I just use a nice little saw um, to cut them. It gives it a nice clean cut without squishing um, the reed back. And then once you have them cut to the length that you wanna use, then what you're gonna do is I just take um, a little awl or a drill bit and then I start cleaning that out in the center. I clean all those fibers out, get that hollowed out nicely. And then I'll take a sharp blade, a utility knife or an X-Acto blade, and then I'll make a slit on each side. That way we can kind of open it up a little bit as we insert our bristles. And for the bristles that you put into these, this is where you can really have some fun, be creative, imaginative, resourceful, um, natural materials. You can create some interesting marks uh, with. Uh, they're more temporary, one or two uh, uses out of those, but it's fun to play around with the natural materials. Um, you can also, I like to repurpose the bristles off of old paint brushes. Maybe the handles go bad on them. So save a little bundle of those, um, any different fibers that you can gather up, um, different strings and threads that you have, uh, maybe some uh, different strands of leather uh, work nicely. But again, look around, work with what you have to see what you can come up with. And then to insert the bristles, what I do is I'll cut, um, I'll gather up just a nice small bundle that's gonna fit within the diameter of whatever reed I'm using. And then what I'll do is, um, this is a strip of like just a glue strip and you can typically find these wherever they sell like scrapbooking supplies. You can also mimic this uh, and work quickly with your hot glue gun. But I'll take my bristles and I'll just kind of roll that into some of this adhesive and uh, kind of bind that up. That way all of those bristles are sticking together. They all have a little, they're all touching a little bit of adhesive so they're not gonna pull out when you're using it. And then I will insert this into my reed, kind of pull that out. And then I'll reinforce it with a little bit uh, more hot glue or some other adhesive to just help hold all of that in place. And then I'm gonna squeeze that shut nicely with either some leather lacing, some rubber bands, you can use tapes, and then you can trim these back. You can do cuts to get different types of tips on your brushes, but it's as easy as that. And you can create so many interesting looks and uh, different ways you know, of moving around the mediums that you're working with, creating different textures and looks. Uh, now to create drawing tools out of the reed. I like to work with it when it's green because it's easier to shape and then I'll let them dry out. So, uh, and these will just work like, kind of like a calligraphy pin or uh, quill pins. But I just take, again, that sharp blade and I just carefully just start shaping the ends of it and kind of get it to the shape that you want, cut your little slit in there, um, and then once it dries out, then you'll do a little more sanding on it, uh, getting it smoothed out. You can create different types of tips 
on them, uh, but this is a, a really fun way to use these reeds as well. And gathering up natural materials that you can then turn into your own art supplies. It makes you feel empowered, makes you feel resourceful, and they just feel different to you. So look around, see if you have some of those grasses in your area. You can collect a few of those stalks or reeds and create some of your own art supplies to add to your creative toolkit. Lots of fun.